Okay, so now continuing with the exercises, the last two exercises essentially we have not done yet, and so we is because of the essentially because of these two exercises, I did the the decimal numbers in the previous video, right? So the distance between the school and a student's house is one kilometer eight hundred seventy five eight hundred seventy five meters. That's the distance between school and house, basically. Every day she walks both ways, meaning essentially in one day she has to go, for example, from home from essentially from home to school, and then of course you you would stay at the school for for a while and then you go back home meaning that the distance between the home and school has to be it has to be covered essentially not once but twice meaning two times this twice the distance is covered every day now find the total distance covered by her in six days so in six days essentially in, since in one day you would cover twice of this distance in six days you would cover six times twice of this distance right six times twice of this distance meaning six times two times essentially six times two times this distance right so then essentially we can say that essentially the this is exercise number exercise number 11 and since essentially the distance The distance between between school and and um, house is one kilometers eight hundred seventy five meters, right? So then the total distance the total distance covered in covered in six days is equal to six times six times twice the distance meaning times two times one kilometer eight hundred seventy five meters right now uh, what you can essentially what you can do here um, i mean this 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 question you can solve it in many different ways and one thing that i can show you in this in the context of this problem is that is that essentially when you say one kilometer when you say one kilometer 875 meters and there is some space over here between the one kilometer and 875 meters, there is some space. This actually is the same thing as, so this essentially, this whole thing represents a distance, right? Meaning, for example, a distance like, for example, two kilometers, or the distance like 200, or essentially, so two kilometers would be a distance. 220 meters would be a distance. 225 centimeters would be a distance. 256 millimeters would be a distance so these are all distances and in the exact same way this this measurement over here this also represents a distance except that it actually means one kilometer plus 875 meters right so that's the actual meaning of this of this of this type of notation that is actually used in this book otherwise i don't really know i i don't really think that you would find this type of notation in any in any other text essentially or you might i don't i don't really know so but but at the end of the day essentially what that means this means essentially one kilometers plus 875 meters now what this means is that so um so then um so then this this calculation over here which is six times two times basically one kilometer one kilometer uh 875 meters 
I can write it as 6 times 2 is equal to 12 times basically 1 kilometer 875 meters right now this since and then of course since we, we we said that essentially this essentially means this part over here so then i could write this as 12 times basically this whole thing which is essentially um this whole thing which is one kilometer plus 875 meters right and of course it's not i mean if i if i had written this this part if I'd written it as 12 times 1 kilometer plus 875 meters, then the 12 would be multiplied only by this part. And then this part would be added to, essentially to this part over here, meaning that the 12 would not be multiplied by this part. So this is not the right way of, I mean, the meaning of these two are different. Meaning whether I write 12 times and in then in parentheses one kilometer plus 875 meters or if i wrote 12 times one kilometer plus 875 meters these would be completely different things so this would be essentially 12 times one kilometer this would be 12 kilometers essentially excuse me this part over here this would be 12 times one kilometer which is 12 kilometers plus 875 meters that's essentially that's essentially 12 that's essentially the this that's, that's essentially your distance but the meaning of this upper statement over here this is 12 times 1 kilometers that's 12 kilometers plus 12 times this 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 thing over here which is 12 times 800 75 meters so of course this distance is much greater than this distance because you already have the 12 kilometers and then added to that is over here it's only 875 meters it's 12 times 875 meters so you have to be careful with your with the way that you write your your statement okay okay so now that you understand essentially the meaning of your the essential the meaning of your calculation then of course it's important to know how to calculate this and to calculate this essentially you can you can think of this as if you had for example something like for example two times for example two plus four right two plus four which is the same thing as for example now you can calculate this in two different ways so of course you know that 2 plus 4 is the same thing as 6 so that's 2 times 6 which is equal to 12 right or you can essentially write this as 2 times 2 plus 4 which is the same thing as and, and then you can and then essentially they say that they say that essentially that multiplication distributes over addition. So multiplication distributes over addition. Meaning you have addition over here, you have multiplication over here. So distributing multiplication over addition means that essentially 2 is first multiplied by 2. And then add to that again 2 multiplied by 4. Which means that 2 times 2 plus 2 times 4, right? Now this is 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and then 2 times 4 is equal to 8, which is equal to 12. So it's the exact same answer, right? So you can, you can first basically, since you have essentially a pair of parentheses here, first you can do this operation over here. And then multiply the two by the whole thing or you can distribute and of course now that we are talking about this you can all you, there is also the the fact that this multiplication distributes over over um, 
I think over subtraction as well of course as over subtraction I do I do already know so for example 2 times for example 4 minus 2 you can write this as 2 times and then 4 minus 2 is equal to, is equal to 2 2 times 2 is equal to 4 or you can write 2 times 4 minus 2 and then basically again multiplication distributes over subtraction so 2 times 4 is equal to 8 minus 2 times 2 essentially so you can write it as 2 times 4 minus 2 times 2 which is, which is essentially this way and then 2 times 4 is equal to 8 minus 2 2 times 2 is equal to 4 so again the same 4 that we got here right so then you can use um, and then in general basically we can say that essentially a b and c for now you can say being any natural numbers or even you can you can even essentially use this for all the real numbers the real numbers we will get to them um, uh, essentially the set of real numbers is a larger is, is a much larger set than the set of natural numbers basically but assuming that a b c belong to the set of natural numbers meaning essentially a b and c are all natural numbers you can say that a times b plus c is the same thing as a times b plus a times c which essentially means that essentially which essentially means that multiplication distributes over addition that is the meaning of that and then and then all of this all of these things over here you can write it as the multiply essentially this is statement you can write it as a times b plus c is the same thing as a times b plus a times c meaning that essentially a b means a times b a c means a times c a parentheses b plus c means a times parentheses b plus c and so on and so forth and then of course you can do the same thing for subtraction as well meaning that you can say that essentially a times b minus c is the same thing as a times b a times b minus a times c which essentially is again the meaning of that is that multiplication distributes over subtraction as well so you have multiplication and you have subtraction over here and that is the meaning of that and then again the same statement you can write it as a times b minus c is the same thing as a times b minus a times c okay so that's in general now we can use essentially what we learned here in order to do this in order to do this operation over here right so what I what what we can do what we can do is I can essentially since multiplication distributes over addition I can write essentially 12 times 1 kilometer plus basically 12 times 875 meters right now the 12 times 1 kilometers is 12 kilometers and 12 times 875 meters is the same thing as so 875 times 12 is the same thing as 2 times so it's equal to 10 1 14 15 1 16 17 0 and then 1 times 875 is 5 is 875 if you add these two together you'll get 0 5 plus 4 is equal to 10 1 14 15 1 and that's a 10 that's 1050 10 five, excuse me 10 500 meters right and uh, well you can since over here you have the essentially this distance you can write it as for example 12 kilometers 10,500 meters that that you can do 
but then this number is way too large you see over here this this number over here is way too large so it's better to convert this to kilometers meaning that i divide this by by a thousand and then basically and write it in kilometers so that's the same thing as 12 kilometers 10.5 kilometers and then i can add these two together so 12 plus 10.5 is the same thing as 22.5 kilometers and there is your decimal number that we talked about essentially in the in the previous video or essentially i mean you could have actually essentially converted this number to meters and then add the meters together but then but then the number would have gotten way too large so it's better to write the number in 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 this notation meaning 22.5 for example kilometers and since we have talked about essentially decimal numbers in the previous video what this actually means when you say essentially 22.5 kilometers what that means essentially that is 22 and a half kilometers meaning meaning essentially that is 22 plus 0 0.5 all in kilometers or you can write this as essentially 22 kilometers plus 0 0.5 kilometers now 22 kilometers you already understand that means 22 times 1 kilometer half it 0 0.5 kilometer essentially this number over here this number over here that is 0, 0 0.5 that is the as we mentioned before that's the one tenth place value right so that's a five so if i write a five times one tenth is the same thing as five tenth which is the same thing as now divide the numerator by five you'll get a one divide the denominator by five you'll get a two which is one half right so so essentially one half means essentially that just simply means half right so that means that basically this is the same thing as 22 one half kilometers you can write it this way as well okay so that's the meaning of basically um that's the that's the actual meaning of the decimal number okay now there is one more um, that there's one more exercise here number 12 we will do that in the next video thank you